Welcome back to Labyrinth of Galleria, um, the Moon Society, uh, video number two so far. So let's uh, keep going through here. Sure. I want you to put Fanti into this wardrobe. And I want some Fanta. <laughs> Sorry. The, that's absolutely ginormous. Even the biggest wardrobe at my house is only half the size of this one. That's nice, dear. Now hurry up and put it in. Yes, ma'am. In you go. Oh, before I forget, just because it's big doesn't mean you can go crawling around in there. It'll mince you right up. Oh. Mince? As in minced meat? <laughs> That's right. Just like minced meat. <laughs> I forgot to mention this earlier, but this wardrobe is supposed to be a curio as well. Huh. Uh, a curio? Like the ones you were just talking about? Don't get your bloomers in a twist. There are ways to handle curio without getting cursed. They don't just go off all willy-nilly. This wardrobe is the one and only door connecting the surface to the underground labyrinth. Uh huh. But it's a bit of a fickle thing, seeing as it turns the living into chunks of flesh. That's why it's known as the man eating wardrobe. Oh, you serious? The, the what? That's why the underground labyrinth of Galeria remains untrodden to this very day. Damn. But. But then, how do we go underground? <laughs> That's what we have the lantern for. This makes me left. He said a piece of parchment cut in the shape of a person huh, and throws it into the wardrobe along with the lantern. Yes. Yes. I sense it now. This powerful magic that lingers beyond the boundary of the wardrobe. That strong scent of mana. It'll make for some decent puppet soldiers. Yep. Puppet soldiers? Yes, I'll explain later. The lantern's probably itching to explore already. All right now. Listen carefully, Lantern Day Phantasmagory. Hmm. Fanti is shorter, I suppose. Yeah, I just say it for short. <laughs> You'll be commanding the puppet soldiers. Immortal magical beings known as Manania. As mm -hmm. your troops while you explore underground. Yeah. You need a soul and plus you need some mana for them. But don't worry. All you need to do for now is go down into the labyrinth and make it back up. If you can do that, then you pass. If you can't, well, I doubt that'll happen. As for you, little missy, I want you to concentrate on Fanti. Don't lose sight of it. G got it! I'll do my best. Focus on Fanti. Focus. Focus, focus. Here you go. Read this out loud, just as it's written. I want it word for word. No mistakes. It's short enough, so read it loud and clear. Oh, okay. Um... Paper that was not allowed to hand it to her. Oh, wandering spirit which dwells within me. By your true name and the ancient covenant of the land, rain, and sun, I bid thee come forth! The underground labyrinth of Galeria that has hitherto been uncharted, conquer... Con conquer... Oh, no. <laughs> conquer! Conquer! Now give the order clearly. Ye yes, ma'am. Conquer it! Conquers Fury. Explore the gallery environment and find clues about the curios. Narnia. 
Wait, oh, what the heck? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh, this takes me back. All of a sudden, the parchment fly out of the land. Uh oh. So, casting magic from the labyrinth on papers transformed them into human sized puppet soldiers in an instant. That's okay. The puppet soldiers can carry it around. Direct them freely to explore the labyrinth. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar. That Clarice. She looks very familiar from the first game. Alright, anyways. Um, stand by. I have no clue. Okay, so looking around this left eye looks. That's nice. <laughs> So, pressing the R2, moving right, yep, left. So, I set my controls. Oh, there's the wardrobe. Yeah, so they make sense. They had a, it's different. Instead of the well in the first game, we got the uh, wardrobes or Galleria Curios. Let's go. Event. So, welcome to the underground labyrinth of Galleria. Oh, boy. Which is brigade of puppet soldiers as you seek to conquer this. So yeah, this is gonna be a like a tutorial through here. First person viewpoint. Carry out movements, in combat. So you continue to explore the labyrinth. Oh, you can press X or forward, or yeah, I just use the directional pad thing. While facing a direction, you can sidestep by pressing. Yep. Yep, monsters or random encounters. The enemy radar at the top of the screen will glow red when you approach a monster. Huh. Proceed with caution. So yeah, that red, that thing on top right now, it says blue. Oh. Hello. <laughs> what is this? Reinforce. Oh, I remember this. Like using certain skills. Okay, I'm starting to remember now. So pressing start. Nope. Pressing the touch pad, you can like remove things, but I don't want to do that. I want to see everything. <laughs> hmm. It's a door. Let's open it. Hey, a treasure chest. Find proclaim. Uh oh. Hey, it's we're getting red. So sorry, you guys. I like to explore and fill out the map. Uh oh, incoming. Is that like a random encounter or what? <laughs> Probably not, but... Uh-oh. Question mark. Examine. So every step or wall collision counts as a turn elapsing. I see. Except turning around, right? Another treasure chest. Mugwort bomb. Oh, pressing standby also. Okay. Oops. Uh. <laughs> My bad, you guys. All right, let's go this way. Something over there. Oops. So I'm pressing these other buttons. Hold on. There's no menu thing. Pressing square. Nope. Jitterbug. Pressing triangle. Nope. Pressing circle. I guess not yet for the menu. Oops. Junk parts. What the? And yep, Over random here. again. So the following is explanation of puppet soldier battles, a way to deal with the monsters that lurk in the labyrinth. So when battles begins, you will be able to issue instruction Okay. Along the instruction issued for the cup. Oh, liberation. One to three puppet soldiers. Yeah, like in a group. Currently, the ratio is one person to. Oh, to five. 
All covens press triangle to begin battle. So sorry you guys, this will take me time to understand, but you know, it'll take me time to go through this game. You'll win the battle when all enemies have been reduced to zero. Yeah. Okay. Just an aid. No allies. DP cost. So, Donum is a skill or magic that uses up Donum, or I'll just call it DP. Uses will faint. What? Faint? There are different DP or whatever Donum. Some inflict heavy enemy damage and others recover HP. Okay. Fortify Coven. Sometimes you may be able to avoid the worst if you remember to use the escape command. Okay, yeah, like a tank, of course, if you're in the front line. Attempt to escape from battles and in critical situation. Yeah, let's fight. So, okay, Vanguard. Uh, sorry, you guys. Oh, don't know, instant aid. Okay, so we got enemies here. Uh, <laughs> a caca head. I like that animation when they move. I don't know, I have a feeling. This one verse? I don't know. Instant aid. Hmm. Huh. So free cursor start battle swap positions. Oh yeah, information, but that'll be very soon. So forget it. Let's just attack and I don't know. This guy looks like a tank, right? So fortify. Wait, actually no. Let's just attack. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Hit. Nice. Or hit. It's with the unknown. Oh, he's about to do something. Hold the battle log swap position. Oh, I see. So pressing the L1. So rear guard, which is the back row. And then, yeah. Okay. Um. Well, everyone just attacked. Ow. Oh well, it's not that Enemy bad, vanquished. right? Mission complete. Nice. What is that? Probably mana. Or no, not mana. Huh. Liberation. Liberation front? <laughs> I don't know. Leak locked doors are often connected to switches on the same floor. Okay, gotcha. Hmm. Well, let's do some more exploration. Stay a random alert. encounter. We got two mushrooms. So very soon, um, wait, free cursor. Uh, very soon in my future videos, or I'll be doing like quick battles, so you don't have to watch it. But you know, I'll show this off again. Uh, let's try this. I guess. I don't know. use but yeah sure if you don't want to do this quickly yeah, too easy huh? yeah I'll just attack shields are stronger than lances what what did you say shield stronger than lances okay sorry my bad you guys there's a button to like check a main menu or something I guess not yet so equip new equipment from the formation screen once acquired. Yeah, when? But, but you know, this is just a tutorial through this dungeon. Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to run the controls. So I'm just filling out the map here. 
Mandragora bomb. What is this? Oh yeah. Oh what the heck? It's like a gamble here. Let's stop. Hey, there you go. Hey, I like that. But in the first game, if I remember, if you find more mana walls or something, you just automatically get it. But that's like a nice gamble there. What's that sound? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> We're about to go random encounter. Yep. Mission start. I remember in the first game, you'll see those wandering, like those orb things, those red orbs. Like, like those are like. What do you call it? Like forced battles? Like when you touch it, then you have to fight them. Go. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Enemy attack. vanquished. Mission complete. Just to get through this quickly. Oh, crap! I also messed up my timer. My bad, you guys. There's a door right here. This is very big. Uh, what button to check my map or something? Unacquired. Okay. Stay alert. Ow. Vital strike. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Go. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Enemy vanquished. Mission They're complete. Just fighting two enemies. Oh, hey, level up. Level up. Nice. Killed <laughs> Huh? Those squats really paid off. <laughs> just hearing what they have to These say. These are the fruits of my labor. Calaris, you just look familiar from the first game. Kind of. I'm even cuter. JK. JK, just kidding. Alright, what does this hint have to say? Traverse black squares on the mini map as you walk over them. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, right? Just, uh. Exploring the place. Make guard when you have armor or shield equip. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, this is the way we get to go. What's this? Hey, nice. It shows it on the map. A shortcut. Oh, God. Let's do this real quick. There's a speed up button. Probably not. But there's What's a next? thing in the option you can make the battle go really fast or something. But I'll just show this off anyways. I mean, this is just a tutorial dungeon thing. And getting mana is very important. Yoink! Hey! Just to fill that out. Hold on, let's explore here. There are rare and powerful weapons with two names. Okay, and another random Always encounter. Be ready. Same enemy, so I'll just do a quick battle here. Victory. Uh, just a uh, yeah, just like that. I'd be doing like a cut. All right, let's go back. Let's see what happens here. Whenever you deal or take damage, you may be stunned. Oh, sorry, conditions are met. Carry out that turn cancelled. One turn and the character can resume actions next turn. Perform a build up action causing their turn to pass. This is called an action setup. Huh. Extremely powerful attack next turn. Or yeah, that makes sense. Or like if they're casting a spell or something. So you can minimize the damage by selecting Fortify Coven with everyone aiming for a stun. Concentrated attack. Okay. Something's going on through this door, but not yet. Let's check over here. Oh. Oh, well, let's go. Got lots of events. Oh yeah, I don't think we want to fall down, heck no. Oh, what? Who is that? So, maybe a monster. Actually, 
aura seems to be troubled by the door not opening. A wick guard? What? Ran away. What the heck is that? You must have summoned it here. Oh, what? So you're in for a fight. Well, Mission let's fight start. it. Fight a mini boss, I guess. Oh, well, let's go. Huh. Interesting music. Next. This? Oh, God. What? I don't think we're ready against this. <laughs> it's one of these times that we have to lose, anyways, right? My body won't move. Yeah, we have to lose. All right? Okay. Yeah, I just got wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you see something. Uh, an eyeball? A huge eyeball? It bit me! Ah! What? A giant mushroom? What? <laughs> wait, 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 no! Ah! Oh, wow. Oh, you can actually see what's going on? My, my. And it sounds like they're done for. What? What should we do? Banty and the others! Calm down. This is where you come in. Focus on thinking about Fanti. Your feelings will act as a beacon for its return. It'll be sure to find its way back. Okay. Since it's a Rick, a strong presence, I do feel like you can return. Then we just got wrecked or something. I don't know. Mm. Got a game <sighs> over. <laughs> it, it's not coming back. Did it not work? <laughs> you did it. Both you and Fanti pass. For now. Yeah, for now. Huh? But Fanti still hasn't... It's on top of your head. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that supposed to burn or something when you touch it? Why don't you take a look in that mirror over there? Oh. Huh? Ah! S something's on my head! How did you not... Why? <laughs> How did you not feel it? It's able to stay here by using you as a tether to this realm. In plainer terms... Your souls have fused. Oh. <laughs> how, how could this happen? Why me? Oh, I think it likes you. Because you're the one that stole its true name. You'll always be together now. Yeah, forever. Did I not mention that would be the case? <laughs> Look at her face. Jeez. I, I definitely didn't hear you say anything about that. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Forgetfulness is a privilege of the elderly. You needn't worry, however. As for the lantern, you can temporarily separate its soul from yours as long as you have that. Don't think about it too hard. Huh. More importantly, you were able to see most of what was happening underground, yes? Tell this old witch everything. The visions she'd seen of how the puppets took human forms and the monsters she'd never seen before. And yeah, we got wrecked. I didn't even search uh, most of the areas of that dungeon, but powerful being defeated the Fanti and the others. She'd seen all this. How could that be possible? But I didn't see everything. I can only get a rough idea of what's happening, so I'm missing bits and pieces. Oh. That will suffice for now. Huh? You'll be the eyes and ears for our underground expeditions here on. 
If you have trouble progressing, I can offer my assistance. It's good we were able to confirm that a den of monsters live inside the labyrinth, just like the stories say. Yeah, of course, there's always monsters. Huh? You knew there were gonna be monsters all along? You said no one had ever been in there. My, my, how unexpected. You know what uncharted means. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it refers to a place yet to be mapped out by anyone. But there's a distinction between taking on the challenge and making it back successfully. There have been plenty of the former. Ooh, grows softer as she speaks. Oh, she was performing a well-known tale. That shouldn't come as a surprise. We're talking about the sanctuary for works of art with supernatural powers, after all. Lots of people want to get their hands on them. Royal investigators, treasure hunters, bandits. Even sages were sent in if rumors are true. But this was a long time ago. Hmm. Does that mean that there's no one left that wants to try? At least that's what I gathered. After a certain point, none remained with the means or desire to brave the labyrinth. Yeah, no one doesn't come back out the, or something. Because they couldn't come back? Yeah, they couldn't come back. They didn't make it. So it seems. They tried to find a way back. But in the end, not a single person made it out of there alive. Oh. Huh? But if no one made it back... How did people find out about the labyrinth in the first place? It seems that mysterious artifacts were found with mutilated corpses in the wardrobe and assumed to have originated from the labyrinth. Damn. One of these explorers was found with a memoir. Well, his minced flesh was. Ah. Uh. A uh, memoir? That's right. And on the last page, this was written in the old tongue. The swarm of frenzied monsters underground are the remains of those who died exploring or who have succumbed to the miasma while alive. Oh yeah, the miasma. Man, that also happened in the, uh, of course, in the first game. Damn. Never enter this labyrinth. Or so the story goes. Yep, so that's why the... We need witches. Huh? Apparently, Jeez. the mincing doesn't happen upon entering the wardrobe, but when returning. Uh huh. Truth be told, you can get to the other side. You just can't come back up. Huh. But until this memoir was discovered, it was a mystery why people would try to exit back through the wardrobe knowing they'd be killed. Damn. The assumption was they'd gone mad while fleeing from monsters. Or that those who missed home went for broke in one last gamble. But if they'd been turned into monsters themselves and were trying to come back up in search of prey, well, that's different. Well, we don't know for certain, but it was enough for the king at the time to seal this place up. Yep. Many years passed, and not only was no one left to take on the challenge, but few even knew it existed. Until our count set his mind on it. Well, well exploring isn't possible! I mean, because of the dying and all! <laughs> That's what you, Fanti, and the puppet soldiers are for. Yep. Didn't you all return safely? A puppet soldier has roughly the same strength as a person, but they have the distinct advantage of not being human. But the vision I had just now, was that really happening underground? Yes. Fanti was leading the puppet soldiers in their exploration deep below the surface. As the Covenant dictates. Th then, 
My job would be to... Mm-hmm. So you finally caught on. There you go. You're to be a medium for the wandering spirit and explore underground in place of... this old bat. <laughs> Don't forget to report everything you see there. The part about finding lost objects is also... Yeah. That's right. You'll be finding and gathering the curio in the labyrinth. Man. But, but the things I usually find are like... Your run-of-the-mill lost items. <laughs> yeah, like those broken crates and whatever. <laughs> I've already thought that through. Just leave it to Madame Marta. That said, it'll be the Lantern Day Phantasmagory who will be doing the actual exploring. If we want to be more specific, it'll be the wandering spirit inside the lantern. <laughs> Keep in mind that our little friend here is prone to boredom. Uh. We'll need to make sure it has plenty to do, or who knows what will happen. <laughs> Jeez. Well, start with an introduction. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Excuse me, Fanti. It's nice to meet you. Though I guess it's not our first meeting. I'm Eureka. Eureka Desole. Uh, yeah. Yep. Whoa! How'd it go? Did you get a response? Uh, I can hear a voice in my head. Or, it's not a voice, exactly. Maybe it's Fanti's will I'm sensing? Eh? Wh what is that? What? You're stuck together until we reach the end. Like a couple that's grown apart emotionally. <laughs> Good luck getting along now! Jeez. This room is filled with so many objects. Various items sensors had gathered were scattered around the room. I suppose we could call it a storeroom for our loot. Hmm. Anything you obtain underground will appear here. Yep, whatever we got. Hmm. Fanti's brought back so much from just one hour's exploration. Let's see. One hour is like less than that. Hmm. And I got wrecked. As expected. Scraps of parts running the ground are all that remains of a puppet soldiers that had been fighting beside you how awful man i thought it'd save money to use parchment but there's no way to repair them like this i guess i'll have to use dolls made of wood oh yep yeah, the good old wooden puppet dolls just like what they did in the first game that's fine that's fine we'll build a count for the expenses plus extra in order to do that, we'll need to explore again. Yep, to find better loot, get stronger, get experience, get more mana, if I remember. Man. There's no time to waste. Let's <laughs> head back up and get right to making some more. Blow on this again for me. Y yes ma'am! So the wandering spirit lights up the blaze as Eureka blows lightly on the lantern. Fancy little missy. I'll explain it again. So listen carefully, you two. Hold on a second. All right, sorry I'm back. This so. is the Red Tribuna. Remember that. It's Galeria Manor's gallery and our base of operations when exploring the labyrinth. Yep. You two need to focus on bringing back the works of art stored beneath the manor. But not just any old works. The Curio. They can be anything from paintings to sculptures, jewelry, furniture, even scripts. So, I just need to have Fanti and the puppet soldiers look for Curio underground, is that right? You've got it in one. The puppet soldiers are immortal Menania. We craft them using a soul and a puppet. Yep, gotta have a soul. You'll need them to take on the labyrinth for you. Do you understand that much? Immortal? But weren't they defeated just now? 
<laughs> Even puppet soldiers will die if they get torn apart by monsters. Ouch. At least while they're underground. But remember, they were created from puppets. A shot through the heart or a little beheading is nothing. We can repair them here. Yep. That makes them immortal. And they won't die easily, even if they're exposed to the miasma underground. They rely on mana to change their appearance. Not being able to communicate directly is one of the drawbacks, oh. since there's little mana here. Yeah. You mentioned that earlier, but what's mana? Oh, come on. You might call it the origin of magic power. Its very essence is in the air we breathe. There's no magic without it. Origin? Essence? Huh? To put it simply, puppet soldiers can't appear above ground because there's almost no mana. That's why our point of command underground is the lantern. <laughs> they won't stay the same as when we first crafted them. They'll grow as they battle more and more often. Yep. As you gain more experience underground, you'll be able to defeat even stronger monsters. The same enemies won't always have the upper hand. Yep, plus we gotta find better gear down there. What do you think of all this? Do you understand how important the Lantern and the Puppet Soldiers are? Y yes Well, about half of it. <laughs> Even half is more than enough. You'll be the medium. Learn by doing, not by thinking. Huh. All right, let's start getting ready again. Here, take these. Three puppet parts and three salt packs. Yep. Obtain some mana and silver. <laughs> nice! Plus, I'm gonna end the video right now. Oh, wow. Silver coin, that's a lot. Eight puppet soldiers and form a witch brigade. So, you are the wandering spirit. It's been called to challenge the unexplored underground Lambeth of Galleria. Oh, boy. Puppet soldiers, which I will do next video. So organize a witch brigade. That's your first step toward conquering the labyrinth. The base menu. Yep, puppet workbench. See, I remember like when you get farther, then there's like a like a stronger soul to make better puppets and get more stats or whatever. I don't remember. So, anyways, uh, this is Ray on uh, yeah, labyrinth of Gal Galleria. Um, or Galeria, my bad <laughs> for pronouncing it. Next time we will make my puppets. Yeah, my own army. And I'm going to do the same thing probably like what I did in the first game. Yep, so uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and goodbye everyone.